one of the things that we think that links alcohol and nuts is that uh, some alcoholic drinks can contain nuts and people with nut allergy will not be aware that they are there. A McGill-led study that began back in 2011, which observed more than 1,100 adults presenting with anaphylaxis, an acute life-threatening allergy across eight emergency departments, revealed interesting new data that shows a close link between alcohol and more severe reactions in nut allergies. Uh, following the tragic death of a 16-year-old girl, Sabrina Shannon, after being uh, likely exposed to her food allergen, which was milk at the time. Uh, this prompted Air Health Canada to contact us and try to get a better understanding of uh, the uh, burden, uh, the management of anaphylaxis, which is the most severe allergic reaction in Canada. The study, which began at the Children's Hospital in Montreal, grew to encompass participants from Ontario, British Columbia, Newfoundland, Alberta, and most recently Manitoba, revealed two main findings. We know that alcohol already worsens anaphylactic reactions. We know it's a vasodilator. We know that anyone who sort of has an anaphylactic shock with alcohol is going to have a more severe reaction. But why with nuts specifically compared to all the other triggers? A lot of our alcoholic drinks, sometimes there are some nut flavoring. There's amaretto sour, there's other drinks or cocktails that contain nuts. And people not, do not necessarily even ask, maybe because, you know, it's a social environment that's feel embarrassed about asking about their allergies and making the server aware. And maybe the server even is not aware. And uh, under 25% of people who had already a previous allergy that was noted, uh, only less than 25% used epinephrine before their presentation to the hospital. So this shows that somebody who already has an allergy and who's supposed to have an epinephrine at home um, didn't use it. And we know that epinephrine saves lives. We know that the earlier you give the epinephrine, the better the outcomes are going to be. Doctors recommend those with allergies learn how to identify the signs of anaphylaxis to properly treat the reaction with epinephrine or how to avoid the situation as much as possible. What I'm hoping for at least is that this study is a sort of domino effect, you know, like we start with this study, we talk about the dangers of nut flavoring and the dangers of not properly labeling alcoholic drinks. And then afterwards, hopefully more and more people react to it. And then there is a sort of incentive that oh, in every alcoholic drink there is, we have to, you know, label and we have to be the most transparent that we can be. In Montreal, Corinne Boyer, City News.